that do research on ants all around the world, but I specialize on the ants of Madagascar. But when I first started working in Madagascar, I didn't go to Madagascar. I went to museums to see what was already known. And there's one ant look really interesting. It was only a few specimens of it. No locality, just a number. And I said, oh, when I go to Madagascar, I'm sure I'll find this ant. Then I started working in Madagascar. I traveled everywhere from the north to the south, up the mountains, down the mountains, and I never found this ant. Where was it collected? I started asking around and it looked like it was part of a French expedition. So I went to Paris, I talked to people at the museum, and they said, ah, I think that's from an expedition with an entomologist called Betch. I looked up Betch and I went to his home and he actually gave me his original notes from the expedition. And this is it. I looked it up and I said, 1900 meters, mountain without a name. I started asking people how to get there. Nobody's been there since 1971. And that's why I decided two years ago, finally to go up this mountain without a name. Expeditions are the unknown. So you get a team together and then you start. It could be a failure, you could not get there. We drove up the coast of Madagascar. We got to a village. We found an old porter, somebody who helped the 1970s expedition. We interviewed him, but he also said on their trip, they had climbing gear. We were like, oh no, we don't have any ropes with us, so we may not be able to make it. But we went on and we just decided to go west. We made the mistake of deciding that the best way to go is to follow the river up. But it was such a massive river and it was raining so much, we decided we can't make it. We're just gonna have to find the next bend of the river and set up camp. By chance, the only way to get up the mountain was to go behind this camp. If we would have gone further up the river to where the French did, we would have been blocked by cliff faces and needed ropes. But we went up, luckily, to this one camp, spent 10 days there plotting routes to get up the mountain, and we started then moving our camps up the mountain. We were looking for the ant the whole trip up there, but the original collection was from near the summit at almost 2,000 meters. We actually finally got to the summit. We were working up there for a couple of days in terrible rain, and we had to get back down the mountain, and we didn't find the ant. It was kind of sad to have to be kind of almost pushed off the mountain to get back home, but that means we'll have to go back. We're training a major expedition. We're gonna go with botanists and other entomologists, and we're gonna go back up there and hopefully this time spend a lot more time up on the top of the mountain to explore the forest and these beautiful wet prairies that are up there. It's really just by chance if you take some soil and there's your ant. We did a lot of soil digging, but we didn't find it and we might have been the wrong habitat, the wrong location, so we have to keep looking.